Mi Band 5 is a firmware update to Mi Band 4 with a slightly bigger display. <coughs> Okay, ready. So yes, the Mi Band 5 has finally launched in India at 2500 INR with a slightly bigger 1.1 inch colorful AMOLED display, Pi fitness tracking points, women health tracking features like the menstrual cycle, ovulation phases, etc. But you also have the Mi Band 4 at 1800 INR out there, which was again the best fitness band available. So the question that has to be asked is, should you buy the Mi Band 5 or on a Band 5 or again, is Mi Band 5 worth upgrading over the Mi Band 4? Well, this is Vadeek from TechWiser.com and yes, the Mi Band 5 is the best fitness band out there, but no, you shouldn't get it. Here's my full review of the Mi Band 5 and before, before we get to the video, we upload weekly tech videos and if you want to stay wiser, make sure you subscribe to TechWiser and turn on the bell notifications as well. Now to ease this review, let me divide it into four parts and this is what you should be looking for while purchasing a fitness band. One, display, fitness tracking and accuracy, sleep tracking and finally third party apps. In that order, let's start with the display first. Both the Mi Band 4 and the Mi Band 5 have a nice AMOLED display. However, the Mi Band 5 takes it up a notch. You get a slightly bigger 1.1 inch display compared to the Mi Band 4's 0.95 inch display with slightly more pixels and better resolution. In comparison to the Mi Band 4, the Mi Band 5 can get brighter. The Mi Band 4 could go up to 400 nits, whereas the Mi Band 5 can now go up to 450 nits. But in general usage, I could see the difference in sharpness of the display when kept side by side. But if you have any of these, you would hardly complain. The difference of 50 nits of brightness is barely noticeable. I could hardly tell the difference. The most important, the, the most important or noticeable upgrade is this bigger display. Now the icons in the menu are bigger. It's easier to touch interact with the entire display. Moreover, during the workout, the data that has to be seen is now larger. It's very easy to notice them. Like here, during an outdoor run, the text is now slightly bigger. Due to the sharper display, it's easier to read as well on the go. So I would rate the Mi Band 5 display slightly better than the Mi Band 4 and the Honor Band 5, but not a significant difference. So the display is marginally but definitely better on the Mi Band 5. But what about the real deal? Workout and accuracy. Well, to start off, the Mi Band 5 offers more workout activities, 11 to be precise, over 6 workout activities on the Mi Band 4. The Honor Band 5 has 10 workout activities. Now here, have a look. The extra added workout activities are indoor cycling, elliptical, rowing machine, yoga and jump rope. Now, indoor cycling, elliptical yoga just displays time, calories, heart rate. This could have easily been a part of freestyle training. The only useful added workout I could find is jump rope. If you're into that, maybe you should consider the Mi Band 5. Rest, you get all the general workout activities like running, cycling, walking, swimming on all the three bands. In terms of accuracy, I took a run with all the three bands and here's that data. More or less, the Mi Band 5 and Honor Band 5 are on the same page in terms of distance measurement. More or less, the Mi Band 4 and Mi Band 5 are on the same page in terms of heart rate and distance measurement. Here, I have the Mi Band 4, Mi Band 5 and the Apple Watch 6 measuring heart rate side by side. A plus minus 10% difference, maybe, I would say all the three bands are on par and consistent. A small addition is made to the Mi Band 5. Now, before an exercise, there are settings to customize heart rate and distance alert. The best one is the auto pause feature. It automatically pauses the workout when it detects no movement. That's nice. The Amazfit Bip had it for a while and it's good to see it coming to the Mi Bands. Additionally, the Mi Band 5 also provides a stress measurement and breathing exercise. Well, let's just say you would barely use it. 
It also has women tracking features like menstrual tracking and ovulation phases. But for obvious reasons, we weren't able to test that. So if you're a girl, Mi Band 5 has some exclusive features for you and it's good to see that. So the Mi Band 5 had a better display and slightly more workout activities with similar accuracy. But there's an underrated part of a fitness band, sleep tracking. People underestimate the quality of sleep a lot and it's really important to sleep for 7 to 8 hours. If you're interested, you can read this book by Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep or just listen to the GRE podcast of Matthew Walker. I'll link it below. Now, hands down, Honor Band 5 has the best sleep tracking in this segment. The Mi Bands aren't bad, but it's just the Honor Band is so good. The Honor Band is clearly able to distinguish between just lying on the bed and sleeping. The Mi Bands can't do that. Moreover, if you are someone who takes a nap in the daytime, well, Honor Band 5 and Mi Band 5 both can detect naps round the clock. Again, I couldn't test this, but that's something worth mentioning. Here on the Mi Band 5, it consistently shows that I'm awake at weird times in the night. I mean, 36 minutes and then 1 hour 27 minutes the other day. What was I even doing those nights? If you see side by side, the Honor Band 5 clearly has more details and sleep time accuracy over the Mi Band 5 and even the Mi Band 4. So the Mi Band 5 had a better display and slightly more workout activities with similar accuracy. The Honor Band 5 has better sleep tracking, but biggest factor that always makes the Mi Bands a clear winner over any fitness band are the third party apps. The amount of customizations you can do with Mi Band is just insane. Everything you want to do with this band, there's a third party app for it. We did a dedicated video on Mi Band 5 tips and tricks and you should check them out. But to sum it up, you can display map directions on the band, answer calls, sync data to Strava, which is most important for me, set custom reminders, etc. There's a whole lot. Let me show you one of those. I use this quickly to answer calls from the Mi Band, like I have my Bluetooth earphones connected to my Android device. So whenever I get a call notification, I just tap on the mute button and the call is answered. I have remapped this mute button to answer calls using the Notify for Mi Band app. You would find a lot of customization within the app. However, the point is all these hacks that work with Mi Band 5 also work with the Mi Band 4, which doesn't make it an X factor exclusive to Mi Band 5. Now let's talk about the cons. It's not like things are all better on the Mi Band 5. The major bummer is the battery. Surprisingly, even after bumping the display, the battery has been reduced by 10 mAh. So earlier you had 135 mAh of battery on the Mi Band 4 and now it's 125 mAh on the Mi Band 5. The difference clearly shows. I could get through the Mi Band 4 for about 6 to 7 days on hardcore usage. Whereas the Mi Band 5 only lasts 4 to 5 days. That's like a difference of 2 days. Plus the charging mechanism. It's better now. You don't have to remove the capsule, but a built-in USB charger would have been much appreciated. So to sum it up, the Mi Band 5 only has a bigger display and slightly more workouts over the Mi Band 4. But you wouldn't notice the display difference if you don't see it side by side and most of the workouts are just pointless, except jump rope. In terms of third party apps and workout accuracy, the Mi Band 4 is on par with the Mi Band 5. Also, the battery on the Mi Band 4 is better than the Mi Band 5. Or let me rephrase it. The Mi Band 5 is just a firmware update to the Mi Band 4 with a slightly bigger display and a different charger. Whatever features the Mi Band 5 offers could just have been a firmware update to the Mi Band 4. So should you upgrade from the Mi Band 4? No, don't do that. So what should you buy? Well, the Mi Band 5 is currently 500 rupees costly than the Mi Band 4. If you can get the Mi Band 5, good. But if Mi Band 4 drops lower in price, it's a better deal overall. If you're a girl, Mi Band 5 has exclusive features for you. You should get that. And on that note, this is Pratik signing off. Subscribe to TechWiser. See you soon.